Now, according to El Gayo Marakut CCIO, Joshua Chilal, based on the accounts the suspect had given during the interrogation, the men were representatives of a Chinese company which was to supply sports equipment to keep Tom to be used during the Chicago Marathon in April 2024 and a 45 million Kenya shilling signed contract. He said this in a quote, it is alleged that Kip Tom opted to use a different brand and not the Chinese brand as agreed, end of quote. The CCIO further indicated that the men were sent in response to Kip Tom rejecting the offer, thus prompting a more assertive approach by visiting the late Maradona's home in an attempt to make him change his mind. He said this in a quote, therefore, the Chinese company were grieved and sent the four men to negotiate whether they could be compensated or whether they will be given another opportunity to supply Kiptom equipment for the forthcoming Rotterdam race slotted for April 2024. And of course, on their part, the men, through their lawyer, argued that they were well known to keep Tom's family, further adding that the four had a fruitful discussion with the late Maradona during their interaction. They were shocked at being linked to keep Tom's death, bearing in mind they had good intentions for him. They further denied reports that they were sent by Stitos as representatives. However, one of them completely refused to respond to questions regarding Kip Tom's accident. While three of the four men surrendered themselves to the authorities, the fourth one was arrested on Wednesday, February 14. The men were grilled for hours as investigations into Kip Tom's death continued and will be requested to report back to the CCIO on Friday. The sub-county commander, K.U. South Abdullahi Dahir, stated this in a quote, What made us look for the four suspects is the allegation made by the father of the dead. We never had any prior allegation or report, end of quote. In the meantime, burial preparations for the late Kip Tom have begun with the organizing committee indicating that the late athlete will be interred at his home on Saturday, February 24, 2024. This is a Cuban news.